political scientist and a political activist, how significant is it to have a motion like this passed in Ontario? It is very important that uh, the Ontario legislator, t legislator took this action, and it was passed overwhelmingly. I think the vote was something like 47 to 5, and we'll talk in a couple seconds about the opposition. But uh, there was a, a mixture of both the, the party that's in power and the major opposition, the uh, progressive conservatives and the liberals, were joined together on this. It was a response not only to what the uh, MPP who introduced it said was the, uh, the campaign against uh, Jews, against Israelis, the BDS campaigns, the discrimination on the campuses, but also a few months ago there was an attempt that was made for PR purposes to introduce a law in the uh, legislature of Ontario that would have made BDS legitimate. And that was defeated, but it was important not only to defeat that effort, but also to make a positive statement that BDS is discrimination, unacceptable. And what was passed in the resolution also emphasized the close cooperation and shared values of Israel and Canada. So it has a lot of implications for Canadians. Now, Professor, how damaging is the BDS movement to Israel? What, do, what kind of an impact does it really have? It's more damaging, BDS is more damaging to Jews and Israel supporters outside of Israel than in fact it is to Israelis in most cases. There's no real economic impact of BDS. It has certainly over five or six years, it has not had significant impact, if any at all. And, but it is very much a process of labeling and embarrassing and attacking the, uh, and bullying the pro-Israeli students on campuses, Jewish students, so the line between being pro-Israel or Zionist and being Jewish is crossed very often. These campaigns are growing, and anti-Semitism, both from the right and the left, in North America is becoming quite strong, as we've seen recently. So this is, it is a problem, primarily BDS. It's psychological, one might say, or, or it's political. It's not economic, and that's why it's important to fight it. Professor Gerald Steinberg from Bar-Ilan University, thank you for weighing in.